Hey guys, it's me again, but if you don't know me, my name is Rachel. So, I already wore this in my other video. You should watch it if you haven't watched it. But I feel like wearing it again, so yeah. So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my skating bag for 2020 because I did one a year ago. You can watch that if you want to. This is an updated version because I got... <laughs> I got a luggage. So, yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> if you guys have watched my old video, you know that I used to have a Zuka bag, which was fine. I think it was good for like when I had it, but I got a luggage, number one, because my Zuka bag kept breaking. Like the zippers didn't work. It was just not very fun to use. There's only like one zipper on this, so it's way easier. And two, cause luggages are cooler. Also the higher level skaters use luggages, so. I wanted to use one because I am a high level skater. <laughs> Don't think much has changed from last time I filmed this, but last time I was, well, now I'm an intermediate skater. And also I'm competing in like the like competition thing that's going on. Like the there's only like eight or something and you can only enter two. I know skaters understand, but I'm gonna do the one in Spokane and I'm not gonna do any more because they're really expensive, number one. And number two, that means I have to travel to a different state, which is also expensive. So yeah, we're just gonna do one. But here we go. So this is the Go Penguin luggage. I really wanted a yellow one because I freaking love yellow. And it's just a really cute pastel yellow. It's so cute. But I don't think they sell this anymore. They also changed their brand name to something different. I don't know what it is. I'll put it on screen and I'll link it down below if I can. But yeah, basically they changed their brand name and now they don't sell this one anymore because this was like a limited edition color or something. But I got it off of Amazon. It was really expensive. But worth it because I'll use it for a really long time. I spent my money well. So let's open it. Yeah. This is not going to be as easy as the other one because I actually have to put all this stuff on my bed somehow. I think I'll put it in front of me. So let's start out with my skates. I don't think that's changed since my last video because it was a year ago, but I've got the Premier Jacksons. They're pretty beat up. If you look at this skate, my foot crosses over this skate and I just really beat up the side of it, but at least my legs are close together when I'm jumping. <laughs> Here are my soakers. They're really cute. I made these myself. I sell soakers on an Instagram shop. I will put it right here and I'll link it down below. I haven't been super active on it because we just reorganized our entire sewing room and I've been making a lot of other things like ultra clothes and yes I think I'm gonna make an altering clothes video because I have said that literally two years ago but I promise I'm gonna do it this time because I have some really cute clothes that I want to alter but yeah these are my soakers they're little lemons and they've got pink on the inside here's my towel if you guys want like a custom design you guys can like send me some fabric and I can make it for you but here's what it looks like it's just like a little lemon pattern and it's got some pink flowers, so I thought it would go good with like this pink towel that I have. It's kind of wet because I just used it this morning. Also, you'll get a discount if you want me to make a custom pair because if you buy the fabric, then it will be like $5 off. So yeah, if you want to do that, just DM me on my Love Stitch Design account and I'll DM you back if you actually want to buy a pair. I normally ship to the US, but I can also ship elsewhere, but that would cost a lot of money. So, but I'm willing to do it if you're willing to pay, you know? But yeah, these are my skates. Love them. I tried out those skates that have like the gray bottoms and those were awful so I just did these which were like an old pair this has changed from the last video but I got a new pair of guards somebody stole my pink and teal ones I got these ones these ones are purple and teal instead don't really know why I chose this color it's just a pretty color rockers are really expensive so don't lose them I left them at the rink and somebody stole them from me so Great. Next thing I have, I don't think I had this in my last video. This is something new, but I have this thing. This basically it goes on my skate. I'll show you. I go the like normal way. I'm a righty. So I put it on my right skate, but I don't know if you can do this. You just kind of like go like this and then you attach the Velcro on the back. It just kind of goes like this. See, so it sticks on here and then you take it. This, oh, shit. Why is this hard to do? when the skate isn't on the person. So you go like this and you attach it to the back, right? And then this one, it just goes under. It goes under like this and then you just stick it on here. And basically this is what it looks like. So right here is a squeaker. Right there. And so you just stick it in there and so you know when you have both your feet like this, so they're tight in the air. This has been super helpful for me because um, I used to have my like my leg, my legs would not like be really close together. So this really helped me and I love using it so much. 
but you just stick one of these things in it. If you're a skater, you probably know what these are, but you, these are like those little squeaker things that are in like dog toys. <laughs> and it's just there so you know when you like, when your feet are close, are pretty close together when you're jumping. It makes a sound so you can hear it. But yeah, it's super helpful. I'll link it down below. I totally recommend it. Here's an extra one. I have like three in my bag. I also, I didn't change bags, but it would be super nice if, if you're a skater and you have like bags. I made this one myself, but it can't like stand up on the boards very well. So I need something that's like structured so I can just stand it up on the boards. I haven't been using it recently because I can't just like put it on the board and you can't really put things on like, I don't really want to get off. It just, you know what I'm saying? It's just easier to just take it off the boards. Anyways, let me know, comment something if you guys have any suggestions about that. And yeah, something that would match this would be nice. <laughs> but yeah, I've got like four of these, so I'm strapped. <laughs> Another thing are bunga pads. I know some people don't use these and they're fine, but like once you start using these, there's like no going back. You always use these. I'm kind of far away. I'm gonna move up a little bit. So basically there's like this gel on the inside that's supposed to like protect your ankles. Hello? What? talking about bunga pads. Yeah, some people don't use bunga pads. I, isn't that insane? Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Cause once you start using them, there's like no going back. But anyways, I mean, if you're fine without using them, you don't have to, but like, I think they're really nice. I use them because it makes my ankles feel better. If your ankles hurt, use these. This was like a whole like bunga pad, but then I just cut it in half and did this cause they're kind of expensive. Continuing, Sarah just left my room. Next, I've got these. I don't know if I was using these back then, but these are just like sock tights. I used to wear the like full length tights, but those are not very comfortable and also not great for the summer because you're like way, you have two layers. But basically these are just socks. They kind of only like, they come up to like here, but I normally just like, here's another example. I just go like this. I just put my foot in there and then I just kind of like fold it over like this instead of going all the way up my leg because sometimes they just start to wrinkle and it's kind of weird. I have to wash mine. So this is a good reminder for me to wash them. <laughs> Next, I've got my gloves. Um, <laughs> these are all the ones that I have left currently. I've got a gray one, this one, a black one, a red pair, and a pink one. So, I can't find my black gloves. <laughs> it's so annoying. Like, I don't know where my black gloves went. Or my water bottle. I can't find my water bottle or black gloves. It's so annoying. <sighs> oh, there's a bunch of stuff in my bag. I also have this headband. I normally use these in the morning when I'm cold. When I used to go to boot camp, which is not happening. But it might happen during the fall, so I mean... Maybe. So in my bag, I've got these pockets. I've got some stuff in there too. In my big pocket, I've got my extra bunga pads and this towel, which is super helpful. Basically you wet it and then it like stays cold. Like you kind of wring it out, but it stays cold. And I normally use this for like programs if I'm like really hot, but normally the rink I go to is pretty cold. So it doesn't matter if you know what I'm saying. Like some rinks are warm, some rinks are cold. But yeah, I got this at Daiso and it was pretty inexpensive. And it's just like a cooling towel. I don't really know what it's called, but you just wet it. Then you just kind of wear it around your neck or like pat yourself or something if you're really hot. <laughs> then these two pockets on this side. The first one I've got, I've got some extra laces. I don't know if I was supposed to put these in my skates already. Maybe I was. I think I need to relace my skates with these because I was having trouble with them. Anyways, I've also in here got some contact stuff because I wear contact. Also, if you guys think I should make a contact video because I used to never want to put in contacts because I was petrified of that, but I can't just like not skate with my glasses. Like I, I'm like I'm not that blind, but it really it's really annoying and it gives me headaches. So I decided just to go for it and get contacts and best decision ever. So let me know in the comments if you guys want a video on how to put in contacts and like the easiest way to take them out and put them in because I can totally do that. I've become a master at putting in contacts, but these are just for if I have dry eyes or if I need to take it out and like wet it a little bit. I've got a few little pads for my skates. I had a blister a little while ago, so I just have just these little blister pads. And also this, I'm not entirely sure what's wrong with my skate but I have to stick this like I have to stick it like right here at my heel my foot doesn't like scratch at the back but I just gotta have an extra one of those the last pocket I've just got two markers I have no idea where I got these but you know like when coaches use markers on the ice I used to use these when I did learn to skate I used to help with learn to skate but now that's not happening anymore but the, the, basically you just draw on the ice with these and it like comes off it's washable so it's great for like teaching which I used to do but not right now also I I have a little dog keychain. 
It's just sitting in there. Okay, so on to my bag and my off-ice stuff. So I know you guys have heard me talk about this, but this is my coach's spinner that she designed. I'll link it down below, but you guys have definitely heard me talk about this before. It's just an off-ice spin board, and I use this so much when I wasn't able to skate. I just use it in my garage, in a flat surface, not rug, but like more like hard surfaces like tile. I made a video about this. I'll link the one that I did on Kim's channel up here. If you guys haven't seen that, I made a video for Kim, who's the coach that made this, on her channel. So you should check that out if you want to learn how to do some basic spin positions on these. But yeah, I'll link these down below if you want to buy one. Also, it's great to use when you aren't skating on a day. I need to use them more often, to be completely honest, because it really does help. Like when I got back in the ice, my spins were fine, like I was literally fine. I just got really dizzy. Moving on, here's my bag. As I said, please give me suggestions for new bags because this one doesn't stand up on its own. I've gotten here my jump rope. This one hurts when I use it. Like if I like hit my leg with this, it hurts so bad. I'll open it for you guys. It's supposed to go like super fast, but it just looks like this. That's why it hurts so much when it slaps you. I just use this to warm up if I don't have a lot of room, which is definitely what's happening right now because you can't just like warm up inside the rink. You have to do it outside. So this is super helpful for that if you want to warm up without like running around because you can't do that. The rest of the stuff I have in here is just like my notebook for writing down footwork if, because sometimes I forget. <laughs> Last few things. This is just the stuff that I use when I'm done skating. I used to stretch for 30 minutes after I ice skated and I'm making a off ice routine. It's coming, I promise. The reason why I haven't been doing it is because I'm not the most flexible human being and I've been working on my flexibility for years and I still haven't gotten my splits yet. I don't know if I'm a very valid person to be talking about stretching. So I haven't done it yet, but it will happen soon. <laughs> I will get my splits one day. Like I've gotten them before, but it's just like not consistent. Cause when I get it, like I stop stretching for like the weekend and then like it goes away and I'm like really sore and I can't do it again. And I'm like, what is happening? How do I get a consistent split? If you guys know, let me know. But I use, I roll with this. I use this one. I have one at home, but it's longer. This is the easiest one to just like carry. Ooh, also, sorry, I keep asking so much stuff from you, but um, I need like a tote bag, a cute tote bag. So that'd be good too if you know of any cute tote bags. <laughs> Because I need to carry this in it, but this is just my foam roller in that off ice routine video I'll show you how to use it But I just use that like on my IT band and on my calves and my thighs. It really helps trust me I tell everybody this all the time But use a freaking roller because if you use it then you won't be as sore as you would be the next day This eliminates soreness and who wouldn't want to do that? Also, it really hurts when you roll though. So but this helps with reducing soreness the next day so I don't know where the footage went. It literally stopped. I think my camera just stopped recording. The last thing that I showed you was my yoga mat. And when I picked it up, there was like a huge spider on it. So I threw it off the bed and then that's where it continues. So yeah, that's just a little bit of context. Oh, that was literally so scary. Anyways, that's it for today's video. <laughs> that ended off not very good. If you've watched this far to the video, congratulations. Thank you so much for sticking with me. If you've made it this far, comment the snowflake emoji. And if you like me and you like this video, like it and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to click the bell too because I'm not really posting on a schedule. I'm just kind of posting on days. So if you want to know exactly when my uploads come out, do that. And if you want to see more of me throughout the week, follow my Instagram. If you want to see more figure skating content, click here and you'll see a playlist of all my figure skating videos. I'll see you next week. Bye!